N0 FXB. This is my G5RV. As you can see, the ladder line is just chucked over that wall. Um, tried to keep it in free air, but you know, not that great. And then I've got it. The V comes from this window and then stretches out. One goes to that um, trampoline here and the other line goes all the way across through the tree line to that wall. It's quite hard to see it really. So I've insulated the end of this. So if you look from a distance, it's not great, but you, we know that this isn't the way you're meant to do it, but um, this is how I've done my G5 RV. So having the two radial elements close together is very limiting on, on what I get. But you know, I just, really just going what's easiest at home we'll show you the results in a minute okay, with the G5 RV the the twin feeder does radiate and receive so it should you know technically it should be the whole thing should be free free in space and a lot higher than this is which is only about 20 foot okay we're on the uh ICOM 7300, which is fantastic radio. Um, so we're on 14250 at the moment. Let's just tune through. So there you go. There's uh, there's no preamp on. 14255 there. Not sure who he's talking to. We're getting about eight nine signal. Tuning wise, I do have a tuner underneath. You can't see it, which is an LDG tuner. So, see, it's down there. It's a bit hidden. But if I um, put it to about twenty watts. And whistle. There you are. You can see it's tuned. I'll just show you the radio doing that. Right, there's not much earthing on this. I've just got it a bit of a metal plate connected to it, so it's not properly earthed. Right. So we're on 20 meters. Just tune over to these other strong frequencies. There you are. I think, he, I think he's North Italy. And he's trying to get America, North America. Let's go to someone else. Yeah, so there is activity. Remembering that my antenna is rubbish. So let's try um, 40 meters. So we'll hit the seven. Uh, this is what I love about the 7300. It's just so easy to move, to change. Um, so we're not showing too much activity. That'll be digi mode. There's a local UK station. Let's try uh, 80 meters. Yeah. 
Yeah, so one, three, seven, seven. Seems quite clear. I think he's in um, Wa um, Wales. So we'll just give it a quick tune. I've got it on like one watt, so you shouldn't get that. Oh, well, <laughs> he just heard me tune on one watt. So maybe we'll give him a call. Go up to about 40. I'll try and call in. On my G5 RV. He's, he's not one say he's the best signal. Um, keep moving around, don't I? There's no preamp. Right, let's try and call him. Here goes. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Yeah, he's not getting me, so we've got the power a bit. Yeah, he has got a very good audio, this station. It makes me think that um, he's using a different kind of microphone. We might have his comp on. Right. North Wales. Right, I'm going to give him a call now. Fox X Ray Bravo. He's not getting me. Yeah. So there's. While they're talking, let's just do a few, few of these filters. So we can go filter two. Filter three, back to filter one. We can hit this, like so. And then we can tune it. Like that, like that, like that. Or we can hold it in and it defaults. It's really good. And then, we have got the noise. Reducer on. That's off. That's on. It's quite good. And you can set it. So if you hold the NR button, you can change the level here. You know? And then you've got your noise blanker. That's not really making any difference. We're not getting any of that kind of interference. Notch. Not really making any difference. Again, you can hold it in and you can change it. There's your preamps. Don't really need it. Go menu. Scope. 
So, at the moment, we've turned the scope off. It's got a nice large frequency display. And you go menu, hit scope, expand. Oh, not really showing much. Um, it's uh, not really sure why, but there's a reason, isn't there? Menu, scope. Okay. <laughs> right. So there you are, ICOM 7300. Excellent radio.